Hi guys, my name is Kat from Rock and Roll Bride. That is my full official title, Kat from Rock and Roll Bride. Um, I'm not a floating head, although I do look a little bit like a floating head in this turtleneck cardigan combo. It's very cold and I'm slightly sick, so I'm just doing this. Um, but I am here because I am taking part in a challenge called Revamp Restyle Reveal. If you have followed me for a little while, you may remember that last spring, or was it last summer? I did a four week challenge with ten other, nine other bloggers where we all had to make over a room in a week, a room in a week, a room in a month um, with the help of some brands and we did our kitchen which was very absolutely incredibly stressful but also very amazing and we absolutely adore our kitchen now, it's amazing, it's just it such a good experience after the fact. So Revamp Restart Reveal is back this March and the lovely babes behind it asked me to take part again, which I am obviously a job to the chance because who wouldn't want to do another fun challenge with cool people? Um, this time we are doing this room, which is at the moment a bit of a building site slash dumping ground, which you'll see in a second, but it will be our lovely snuggly snug. I'm going to show you what we're going to do and I hope you will follow along. So there we go, let's do this. The first thing that we'll need doing is all the floor needs to come up because we need to replace the joists. Um, some bits are a bit saggy um, underneath there. Luckily, Gareth has already done that in the other reception room, so he knows how to do that. So hopefully it won't be too traumatic. Then as you can see, we need to replace skirting boards some electrics are kind of halfway through being done so they will need to be finished and tidied up um and then my big project will i'm i'm the decorator so my project will be painting everything and finishing this fireplace um when we moved into the house the fireplace was painted white but we decided to strip it back to this original like i don't know what it's made of but this black stuff um but you can kind of see that i lost interest halfway through because there's still a lot of this on it so I need to reignite my passion for that project and then these tiles we were going to replace them but actually they're in pretty good condition I do like the shape a lot I just don't like the color so we'll clean them up and paint them um, I have got some tile samples here from one of our lovely sponsors what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some sort of DIY coffee table sort of thing using this because it's so amazing um, what else? Oh yes, so colour-wise, we are going to go for something very dramatic. These are the swatches. I've been swatching. You can see them over there too. Um, I think we're going to go for this one. So it's really fucking dark. Maybe this one. Gareth really wants this one. It's very dark. Um, but obviously we're only going to paint from the skirting board to the picture rail. So there'll be white up here. The ceiling, obviously, look how grubby it is. You can tell the difference. I've already painted this room white, so you can see the difference. That obviously needs brightening up and whitening. Um, and then, also, these arrived. Some wallpaper and fabric swatches. We've gone through these today. These are all from Style Library. And we're going to go for this. And I am just so obsessed. It looks like a really microscopic snowflake and it's two massive panels so we're going to put one here and one here it's going to be amazing amazing and then fabric wise these are some ones i got and we are going to go for this one which is like a kind of velvety gray thing um and it's going to be we're going to be made, made into curtains Probably made by my mother's friend because I don't know how the fuck to make curtains. Um, so yes, that's what's going to happen. We've got some amazing furniture coming from West Elm. We've got some amazing lights coming from David Hunt who we worked with last time. That's where we are right now. Also, before I go, I just want to show you this. Best thing ever. This was a gift from my friend Sophie a few years, a few years ago. It is The Rock dressed up as a soldier. And he is amazing. He will definitely be staying in this room because he fits the theme perfectly. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to be updating you every week on my Instagram and 
by doing some videos, keep you updated on everything that happens. I hope you'll follow along and I hope you will enjoy it. I definitely am going to, especially because this time we don't have to deal with building a wall or adding a window or finding worktops to be fit in five days. Thank God. Bye.